In this video, you will learn about the structure of prokaryotic cells as well as the features and functions of the different parts present in it. The detailed article on the same topic can be found in my website linked in the description below. The boundary of the prokaryotic cell separating the internal compartment from the outside world is made up of three layers and is combinedly called the cell envelope. The outermost layer of the cell envelope is called glycocalyx which is made up of polysaccharides. If this layer is loosely attached to the cell, it is called slime layer and if it is tightly attached, it is called capsule. A cell has either slime layer or capsule depending on its habit and habitat. Inner to the glycocalyx, cell wall is present. The composition of cell wall varies in different groups of bacteria. For example, it is made up of pseudopeptidoglycan in archaebacteria, while in eubacteria, it is made up of peptidoglycan. Mycoplasma is a group of prokaryotes which lack cell wall. The innermost layer of the cell envelope is the cell membrane, which is similar as found in eukaryotic cells. The projections that arises outside the cell includes pili, fimbriae, and flagella. The fimbriae are small bristle-like structures that arises from the cell. These structures are small in size but more in number. Fimbriae helps the cell to attach to a surface. Pili on the other hand are relatively longer structures but are less in number. Pili helps in transfer of DNA from one bacteria to another by a process called conjugation. The flagella is the locomotory structure present in prokaryotes. The structure of flagella is divided into three parts that is basal body, hook and filament. The longest part of the flagella is the filament. Going inside the cell, mesosomes are the structures formed by inward folding of the cell membrane. The folding of the mesosome contains several enzymes. The function of mesosomes includes respiration, DNA replication, cell wall formation and secretion of substances. Chromatophores are the pigment containing structures of the prokaryotes also formed by inward folding of the cell membrane. Chromatophores are present in photosynthetic bacteria and blue-green algae. In the cytoplasm of prokaryotes, smaller ribosomes that is 70S ribosomes are present. These are made up of a larger subunit that is 50S subunit and a smaller subunit that is 30S subunit. The ribosomes performs the function of protein synthesis by reading the information present in mRNA. Many ribosomes can attach to a single mRNA and the resulting structure is called a polysome or a polyribosome. Inclusion bodies are the structures formed by aggregation of similar type of molecules and acts as storage structures of prokaryotes. Gas vacuoles are membrane-less air-filled spaces found in the cytoplasm of photosynthetic prokaryotes these structures help to provide buoyancy to the cell in aquatic habitat. The plasmid are small, circular, double-stranded DNA molecules which are extra-chromosomal and are not essential for the survival of the cell. Plasmid provides additional features to the cell like antibiotic resistance. The main genomic DNA also floats in the cytoplasm of the cell this DNA is circular and double-stranded and is called nucleoid. In prokaryotic genome, the number of GC base pairs are more than the number of AT base pairs. Thank you for watching this video. If you have learned valuable information from it, leave a like and subscribe for more quality content like this. If you have any doubts or suggestions, you can drop it in the comment section below and I'll make sure to answer it out.